G'day all brothers and sisters in Providence. It's great to have you here today. It's the 23rd of June that I'm recording this. The sun is just about to rise. I hope you're having a great day and that you've had a great week um, and that you've realized more about yourself and your relationship with God, more about God's love and truth and what God has for you to do. Um, This prayer podcast was started with the aim of inspiring members to pray, especially when it gets difficult to pray, and to have that community of prayer together. Uh, Yeah, I really find that praying together is so powerful. So uh, if you have prayer requests, just let me know. Uh, There's my email in the description below, and I can pray for you. For around two months, I did this prayer podcast with others, mainly from Australia, and the last month or two, I've done it for, uh, by myself for various reasons. And I'm looking forward to praying again with members on the podcast very soon, now that my circumstances have eased up a bit. So uh, last week, no, it was this week, just a few days ago, Miri from US reached out to me in an email and uh It was because I'd been talking on the podcast about creating a female Bible recording because there are so few of them. And I don't think I've even found one female recording of the entire Bible. And it turns out that Miri has recorded around 22 books of the Bible. And she did this during COVID. Uh, I guess it was to encourage people during COVID, um, during the lockdown. So she sent me that link and hopefully I can ask um, Pastor Sky to add the link to the description below. I look forward to meeting up with Miri for a podcast soon and others from Australia and around the world too. Today I'll read uh, Matthew 25, which is really a key scripture in the entire Bible and for this message that we've listened to this week. And after that, I'll pray. So, yeah, as I mentioned two weeks ago, um, uh, just because the workload at work is super, super big at the moment, Uh, and I'm coming to the end of three weeks which have been very very intense Um, yeah I've had to kind of change the content of my podcast so that I can handle it uh, and do it within the time that I've got Um, so I'll be reading chapter 25 of the parable of the ten virgins which is this week's uh, main scripture Um, and then after that I'll pray to wrap up All right, let's read together. Uh, Matthew 25, the parable of the ten virgins. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, 
Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I'll put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I'll put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not gathered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked lazy servant, so you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed? Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned I would have received it back with interest. So, take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten bags. For whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothes you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They will also answer, Lord, when do we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or needing clothes, or sick or in prison and did not help you? He will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then he will go away, then they will go away, then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Let's pray together. Yeah, beloved, eternal Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. Today, it is Friday that I'm recording this podcast. It's the end of the work week. And we thank you that you have been with us in every single detail of our lives, whether we have thought about you or not thought about you. You have been there taking care of the smallest details. God, we thank you for letting us know this clearly, because if we did not know it, we would feel um, awfully alone and uh, not realize how much you love us. God, it's only when you open your mouth um, that you let us know what is on your heart and in your mind. And when you tell us that it's the the link of love, it is the the bond of love between you and us. Um, So thank you so much for letting us receive the word during this day. during this time and thank you so much for something you putting in that incredible amount of effort to receive that word from you through prayer in his uh, very difficult surrounds where he is now god we pray that uh, we as uh, the people of this history will be able to pray deeply to open to open our ears to listen to the word spiritually and to listen to the word in a way that our hearts 
uh, moved, our hearts had changed, our thoughts had changed and pruned and polished uh, so that our actions in turn will be uh, beautiful fruits of love for you, God. And um, we pray that you will give uh, Son Singim uh, renewal in heart and mind and thoughts we pray that any thoughts that are bothersome and so many concerns on his mind, please help him truly to trust you with all of his concerns because you are the Almighty One who is taking care of every matter, whether it's minuscule or large scale. And you never let uh, things that you don't allow to happen. So please let uh, both Son Sengim and all members to trust in you fully and we pray, God, for the entire world, no matter who they are, God, we pray that everybody can have good character, good basic character, good um, care for brothers and sisters, all of, our, all of the people in the world. We pray that we can take good care of each other, to listen well to each other, respond well, respond kindly, and uh, to have the heart of wanting the well-being of each person in the world. Please help us to have your heart when we interact with each other and not to have the heart to point out or blame or accuse people or to be wicked to people. God, you are the one who allows us to not sin 100%. You tell us that if we are completely determined that uh, not to sin, then we won't sin. It is in our control to do that. You give us the power, you give us the authority through love to cast away evil spirits and evil thoughts from our brains and uh, we thank you for this authority that you've given us through love and we pray each one of us can listen to the word deeply uh, and to pray earnestly to give thanks earnestly after receiving the word and re realizing the word of this time period god we pray um, prayers of thanksgiving for all of the things that you've done for us in secret from the beginning even before we came to meet this history until now god there are so many things and we may have begun to write those things down or begun to remember those things i pray that we'll make a, a physical record of these incidents one after the other in our lives because it's through these that our faith becomes strong our love becomes strong our realization our testimonies become strong so please help us to do this every day please kindly remind us um, of the times uh, and please help us to see the times that you are helping us now that we haven't seen before and uh, to rejoice together with you uh, in love god we pray everyone will have a great day uh, being able to talk with you better today please loosen up our vocal cords of prayer we pray that we'll be able to converse with you and communicate with you in a more loving way and uh, with more realization more shimjong um, and build this house of prayer together you said your place your your place is a house of prayer um, and we pray that we can pray together with brothers and make this history of the uh, of our prayers coming true god you assure us that our prayers will come true so please give us more faith to pray um, even though we cannot see right now what is happening or the answers to our prayers but please let us hang on until the end to see all of the answers to our prayers god please truly be with everyone please bless everybody in body soul and spirit to do well until the end we thank you so much and we pray in the name of our loving jesus christ lord Amen. Thanks for listening, everyone. And if you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with others so others can be uh, sparked in their prayer and have their conversations yeah, flowing again with Heavenly Trinity. Have a lovely weekend. Peace. Mm -hmm.